Hi, I'm Russell Scott, I'm producer and director of New Talent Spotlight, and we're producing from stage and screen and back again at the Leicester Square Theatre on the 23rd of September in aid of the Royal Hospital for Neurodisability. Hi, I'm Eleanor Sanders. Hi, I'm Danny Lane, and we are having tea with Wilma. Um, it's from stage and screen and back again, and it's all about music that's transitioned through the ages. So music that started on screen and ended up on stage, or started on stage and ended up on screen. So you could take a film such as Dirty Dancing, which started on screen and has ended up on stage. You could take uh, Les Mis, which, which is the same, but it's gone back again because it's obviously being remade back into a film. So we've got music from Ghost, from Rent, from Sweet Charity, from The Sound of Music. Um, Phantom of the Opera, Les Miserables. We're, we're actually covering over 35 different films and musicals in one night. Um, well, I've been performing professionally um, in the industry for 30 years since I was a kid. Um, since I was eight years old, I went to theatre school and I then tread the boards as people do, both in, in the classical genre and the musical theatre genre. And I started producing um, about three or four years ago. Um, and my passion is to find new talents, it's to find talent, it's to nurture the talent, to work with them, and coach them and direct them, and then to give opportunity. There are so many um, people out there being cast and, and miscast, I think, sometimes, and typecast for some, sometimes, and not really being given the opportunity to go out there and do what they do best and show people what they do best. So the idea of New Talent Spotlight really is to do that, is to put on shows, put on concert performances, reviews of composers or lyricists, um, and to give opportunity to people, to, to new emerging musical theatre professionals, to give them those opportunities that uh, they really, really strive to get. Um, I recently graduated from East 15 Acting School and since then I've done quite a lot of um, fringe theatre and I've worked on um, Russell's previous show which is that an evening of Tim Rice which we were really excited because Tim Rice came along to us a bit and that was pretty cool. Um, before I went to drama school I won a competition in Bristol called um, I Dreamed a Dream which is a nationwide search for um, a singer and I won the opportunity to sing with um, Leslie Carrot in the Prompt on the Place which is in Clifton in Bristol which is an open air performance that was pretty exciting when you're quite young and flying out in the industry. So I've had these opportunities, which just makes you even more eager to do more. So I'm just really excited to be performing in the West End. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm 18 at the moment. Uh, I'm just about to start the three-year musical theatre course at Guildford School of Acting. Um, but I've been really, really lucky in the opportunities that uh, I've been given. You know, of course, to, to be doing this in the West End is, is absolutely incredible. But uh, I've done various uh, charity galas in places such as the O2 Arena. Um, I was lucky enough to sing a solo there, which was pretty amazing. And also I did uh, a show at Wilton's Music Hall, which is a beautiful place. Um, I was amongst people like Gareth Gates and Adam Waddingham and Styles and Drew. It was uh, really incredible, but you know, it's, it's opportunities like this which uh, you know, are so amazing. You don't come by them every single day, and obviously, before I started my training to do this, it's just dream, dream. First time I went to see it in West End, and ever since then, you know, it's just kind of grown and grown and grown. And you know, obviously, there are so many incredible musicals, and you know, musicals that you know may not have even been written that yet, that may be fantastic. That you know, in 10, 15 years' time, they come to the West End. But that one for me is kind of like, you know, if I, if I was ever in that one, you know, ensemble, swing, whatever, I feel like I have achieved. I've love. i always loved the story of the film, I've adored it, and the music's so lovely, and just the magic when you go and watch it is incredible, and it's really nice to be a part of that, the magic that happens on stage. But I changed my mind that time. Right now it's that, and next week it's something different. <laughs> From stage to screen and back again is uh, West End Gala in aid of the Royal Hospital of Neurodisability. Uh, last year at Russell uh, New Talent Spotlight they raised uh, £11,000 for the charity and it's phenomenal to be able uh, to do something for such a fantastic cause and it's a great honour to be able to, to help them out. Fantastic, fantastic charity so uh, please do check them out. On the 23rd of September at the Leicester Square Theatre, and you can get your tickets at newtalentspotlight.com. So come along and see us all performing in the West End. Music from all sorts of uh, stage and screen classics, celebrating the, the greatest uh, stage and screen writers of that time and beyond. I mean, it goes back uh, centuries, <laughs> almost. We've got we're covering 35 musicals um, uh, from 
chorus line to Rent, to Sweet Charity, to Les Mis, to Fanfare, to Little Women, Scarlet Pimpernel, Jekyll and Hyde, I mean, a huge amount of music. Um, and uh, come along and support the charity. It's going to be an amazing show. We've got six soloists. Um, we've got the West End Gospel Choir. We have a narrator, um, Michael Kern, who's a TV and radio presenter. Um, we're a live band, and it should be absolutely phenomenal. So please come along and support the charity and book your tickets.